right, guys, it's yes. Tuesday. Welcome to the Welcome, Connected welcome, Corner. welcome. It's an amazing Great. and awesome 60 degree Tuesday in December 2019. Yeah. Thank you, Global Warming. Thank you, Al Gore, for warning us <laughs> and us not listening. So, I am your girl, Tori Rose, the Connector. And who do I have with me? Kiana B. Jones. Hey, girl. And who do I have over here? The Prince, you know, Joshua. The prince, you know, Joshua. So the prince hasn't done his political kitty jokes in a while, but he said this one wasn't about politics, right? No, oh, it's not about politics. Is it a riddle? Yes. Okay, so he has a riddle. This is how it's going to work. He's going to give us the first part of the riddle, not the answer. And you guys are going to have to tell us what you think the answer is. So, prince, what's your riddle? What is cleaner when... What... What gets... No, what is cleaner when blacker, but what is cleaner when whiter? All right, let me say it again. What is yeah, cleaner? I, yeah. No, what gets dirtier when blacker? Yeah, yeah, no, what gets dirtier when whiter, but cleaner when blacker? Oh, what yes. gets cleaner no, when... <laughs> no, what gets, what gets dirtier, dirtier when, when whiter, whiter and but, cleaner when blacker? Yes. What gets... Dirtier when whiter, <laughs> yes. but cleaner, cleaner when, when blacker. blacker. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's do it one more time. What gets dirtier, dirtier when whiter, but cleaner when blacker? Wow. Somebody said a towel. Is that right? No. No? Okay, y'all keep on dropping y'all your answers. What guy? What you wiping? That's getting dirtier <laughs> when darker. <laughs> so say it for us one more time. What gets Dirtier when whiter, when whiter but cleaner, cleaner when, when blacker. blacker. All right, that's the Dirty riddle for the day. Whiter. Call us 404-436-1277. High five to you. Awesome. Dirty Thank you. You can go it off, and we'll call you back when it's answer time. We uh, something. Oh, chalkboard. Is it a chalkboard? Oh, oh, Carly got it. Carly, Carly got it. it. It's a chalkboard. Cleaner, with, oh. Cleaner when yeah, blacker yeah. and dirtier when whiter. I thought it was a racist joke. Let me tell y'all, I was scared. But all right. Chalkboard. An ocean. An ocean is a good one, too. A blackboard. For us being teachers, you think we would have known. Right. Duh. I try not to write on it. Thank you so much. That was a good one. We love it. And so this is the place, the like home chalk. of the corn. He gets it naturally. Yeah. He's gone, that was gone, actually gone. pretty good. I like it. Way to go, Char Charlie. Carly, you don't win anything, but thank you. Wherever. She didn't <laughs> let me announce what it was. Hey, Steve Belcher. I see he just tuned in. I was actually going to raffle off an Urban oh. Alliance t-shirt. Uh, oh, okay. Well, we got so, a t-shirt for you, Carly. How about this? Call in number four. Oh. Call in number four. Call in and tell us what you do to stay safe during the holiday season, and you'll win an Urban Alliance t-shirt. 404-436-1277. So, guys, we are so excited. Make sure to give the answer this. Make sure to give the answer this now. We're so excited for everybody who's tuning in. Make sure you watch the whole show on www.radioonfire.com. Yes. Again, the Connected Corner is where you can get news and resources that you can actually use. And so we're not going to be labor because we have an amazing guest who has a plethora of knowledge. He comes to keep us safe. He comes to keep us sane. And he comes to keep us civil. So we got a song. Do we have a song? <laughs> I normally have a song. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, let me think. Uh, mm, come on, Kiki. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. It's shorter. Hey, 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 not longer. <laughs> no, that, that, that not, that no. not that song. Not that song. Wait. No. Okay. All right. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh, all right. Rewind <laughs> it. <back>. Rewind <laughs> it. <back. laughs> Rewind. I was thinking Selecta. about Selecta. Selecta. <laughs> Rewind. Alexa. Selecta. We have Play. a call. Is it call number four? Did we have a call? Oh, all right. Call number four. four. Oh, hello. Hello. Who are we talking to? This is Cardi. <laughs> is it Cardi B? I can't. I can barely hear y'all, but this is Carly, and I have oh, a safety God. tip. Oh, Carly has a safety tip. Yes. What is it, Carly? But am I number four? Yes. yes. You're calling, Carly. You are caller number four. Oh, shucks. I don't never win nothing. But look, <laughs> if you're an online shopper like me, make sure that you check your accounts every day. 
Make sure that you are only ordering off of secured websites. <laughs> That's how you, you got to check the little, the little check mark in the corner. Okay. Yeah. And you got to gotta always, especially if you're ordering from Amazon, if Amazon does not guarantee where that product is coming from, just don't order from them. Got it. So you gave us three tips. Three tips for online shopping. Yeah. Thank you. And so say them one more time. Okay. Um, Y'all know I got bad memory. Okay. The first one was check your accounts every day check because you know that there, there are hackers out there. And if you don't have the automatic notification, sometimes they even took your money and you don't know nothing about it. Secondly, make sure that you're always ordering from secured sites. Like when you go to a checkout, it should take you to a whole nother page. It shouldn't be on the same page that you just found all the stuff on. It should be a whole nother page. Awesome. It should have a little lock symbol on the side that says secured with a little secured. check mark. Mm -hmm. That's how you know that you're on a secured site awesome. so that your information is double, double and triple encrypted so that the hackers can't get to it. And if you're ordering from Amazon, Always check, like when you're getting ready to order something, it'll say, Amazon will say on there whether or not they guarantee this product or this company because, you know, everything don't come from Amazon. It comes from the companies that selling on Amazon. That's good. And if Amazon, if, huh? That's good. We just in the amen corner. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So if Amazon don't back it, you probably shouldn't order it. Awesome. Yeah. All right, let's give our hand clap. Let's clap for those safety yes. tips. Thank you, Carly. Thank you, Carly. We'll have your T-shirt for you. All right, thank you, y'all. You're welcome. Right. So, <clears throat> after uh, Carly saved today, I don't think we'll get a song. Let's just bring <laughs> yeah, the I'm... officer up. So, welcome to the stage, to the seat. The amazing and awesome, awesome Jeff, Jeff Shorter. Shorter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. I was looking for something <laughs> that rhymes with officer, her, longer, shorter. I'm, we should have done Mr. Uh, officer. officer, well, next time, we'll rehearse the song. So thank you so much. <laughs> I want to make sure that you're close to your mic and that everybody can see you. Can, can you move that a little mm -hmm. over this way without knocking it down? Awesome sauce. Welcome, and thank you for joining us at the Connected Corner. Mm -hmm. We have worked with you in the community, and we know that you have seen almost every community in our city. Is that a safe statement? Sure. 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 And so, how many years have you now been an officer? I have 30 years of experience with law enforcement. 30 years? You know? No, I'm really young. Don't, okay. Can't you tell? 30 years. They started recruiting yeah. at five. Right. Okay. So, 30 years of experience. What is the craziest thing you've seen happen during the holiday season? Hmm. Can we come back to that question? Yep, we can come back to it. <laughs> I should have bought my piece of paper and pen. Come back to it. But we'll remember that one. So that's going to be the craziest thing. I will tell you the craziest thing I've seen. Hmm. Okay. And so it was a prank that went wrong because you cannot play with black folks in Christmas time. And yeah. so a few years ago, there was a vine where the person would put like a, some type of thing in a box. It was a fake gift, and it mm -hmm. had a camera on the inside or a camera phone, and they would open it, and it would split, spray the per person and all of this. And so a few years back, uh, we lived in Baltimore County, and some of the younger UMBC students in my building decided mm -hmm. that was the right thing to do with a very mature 50-year-old black woman's Christmas package. Mm -hmm. And so she went opened her package that she had ordered. Now, let me also caveat by saying they had taken very meticulous care to make sure the package outwardly looked the same as what she was expecting. And so she opened the package. It sprayed this dust stuff at her, and it took a picture of her. And so the picture, the phone is on a live stream somewhere else where they keep the pictures, oh, wow. and they thought it was funny. And so this 50-year-old black woman came and knocked on their door, screaming and shouting with her two 21-year-old twin sons, mm. ready to beat and drag everybody that lives everybody. in that apartment. Wow. And so, yeah, I think we moved the next spring. But either way, <laughs> that was one of the craziest things I had ever seen. And they had been doing that to the other apartment buildings, but they had also been stealing those items that were originally in the boxes. Oh, wow. And so that was the craziest thing I've seen. How do we prevent theft or dumb pranks in this holiday season? 
Well, pranks are pranks, but I can talk about that. Okay, so let's talk about that. You said I need to talk about the pranks. Right. Okay, so one of the first things that since we want a beehive connected, right? Yeah. This is like a beehive. Okay. So Baltimore is like a beehive, and you have multiple communities, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the important things that I always stress is treat your community as if it's your home. Mm. Um, one of the things we talk about, people complain about the lighting in Baltimore is bad. Um, one of the ways to uh, scare the roaches, so to speak. He it's, used the word roaches, roaches we didn't. It's, mm -hmm. it's to illuminate your neighborhood. Oh, wow. It may cost you a little bit more money, but the right. peace of mind is priceless. So mm -hmm. when I say illuminate your neighborhood, you have to connect with your neighbor bees, right? So when you have a, 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 a partner in your neighborhood that you can say, hey, I'm on my way home. But if the neighborhood is lit up by everyone cutting their front and red porch lights on, mm. that illuminates the neighborhood as a whole, right? Wow. That's good. Most people won't go into neighborhoods where, they, where there's a, a probability of someone seeing them. Mm -hmm. oh. um, also, if many uh -huh. people don't have, um, in the past what they're getting now, these ring cameras or doorbell mm -hmm. cameras, uh -huh. what it helps the police do is it illuminates and it enhances the video because by that we can see what's going on because the neighborhood is illuminated. Uh -huh. That's a good point. Because yeah, we always, we watch crime shows all the time, and they always have these grainy videos, dark videos. Dark videos. That could look like anybody. And then if it looks like a woman, you'd be scared to go to the store because it's like, girl, that looked like me on that video. Right. So illuminating the front and back and, by mm -hmm. just putting your porch light the on. porch light on. One person That's smart. cut your porch light on, the whole neighborhood is lit up. Wow. I wonder That's how actually good because when you look at the video, oh, the when you look at the video sometimes, I wonder like, cause so if you have, um, what is it, Vent or some of the other ones? Uh -huh. that, Vivint. What is it? Vivint. Vivint, mm -hmm. yeah. Then if your light is off, then your video isn't that great, right? right? You really can't see the people. So you paid all this money for your security system, you should have your porch light on. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. Keep a bulb in it. We were yeah. having that problem. Yeah. Yeah. The, we would have the porch light just on, no light, because the bulb was broken. And then, or not, what's it called? Blown out. And then we didn't know what was the appropriate bulb size, right? If you don't know what your bulb size is, just take the old bulb into any uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, and they have trained light people. Light Remember people? that lady? Uh -huh. Train light people that will match your bulb size for you. And LED lights are the brightest lights and the most um, energy efficient. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, also, I usually illuminate with Christmas lights, too. So this little box right here, <laughs> um, if you want to just take one, I can just show you this very little in, inexpensive box. He's telling us our breath stinks. Did you see that? We've never had a um, <laughs> guest to tell us that even with gum, our breath stinks. Isn't that horrible? You said take it? Just take one. Is it take one? Oh, you want me to take Oh, now, actually take one. Now, I told you he was telling us that we was like not right. Oh, okay. We just had fish. So, so that little in, inexpensive suit out of box um, can save you a lot of money. So so just a question. Um. What are you doing after the show? Well, Carly wants to know if you're single. <laughs> Sorry, Carly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, what am I uh, going home? And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to save a lot of money on my car insurance. <laughs> bye. So this little box right here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, bye bye, out toys. Oh my God, I do everything. <laughs> so this little small box right here. Uh -huh. um, when you have your key fob, your key mm -hmm. fob constantly sends signals to your vehicle mm -hmm. um, on ebay amazon you wow. name it the internet that they talk about they sell these little um, gadgets that intercept your signal uh, from your key fob to your vehicle so when wow. they intercept that it allows them to a break into your vehicle and b start your car what? Uh, so this box right here is called the rfid signal and i'll talk about that in a little bit also it's a radio frequency identification signal that's sent from your key fob to your vehicle. Also, if you have your garage clicker, uh -huh. it can do the same thing for the people that have garages. So at night when you go upstairs, it's like, you know, remember the, the, the thing, I don't know, you, you two are kind of young, but they say it's, it's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember, I remember that. that. They right. need to start that. You know, the That's TV the will cut off uh -huh. at 2 o'clock and they play the and mash. Mm -hmm. So you put, the, you put your key fob in this and it blocks the signal. Whoa. Something okay, wait, wait, wait. Because you're going real fast. So yeah. I want to make sure everybody on here knows not only are you saving the, the the nostrils of those people you're talking to, saving the environment and the community <laughs> with fresh breath, using this box, putting your key fob in there. I'm sorry, call these. <laughs> using your key fob in a box like this, and it doesn't have to be out right? It, it can be, be any, any kind metal. of tin box. Mm. Can stop a thief from outside your house from reading your, your key signal. fob 
signal and starting your car. Starting your car, breaking into your wow. car. Um, wow. Wow. We'll go into that as well about these packages. Well, I mean, that's it. That's, that's, that's right. We can go y'all home. <laughs> it was nice. Y'all. <laughs> See y'all next Tuesday. That was good. I never knew that. Good no. So. Wow. Any ten, anything ten like this. I think I'm gonna start selling BF connected tens. They're a dollar. And put it at your front door. Put it, put it. So mm-hmm. at night when you mm-hmm. go to cut your lights out, mm-hmm. make sure you click your, you click your key fob to hear your vehicle, the alarm activate, mm-hmm. and put it, in, put it in your, uh, your key fob in, the, in your little tin box. Wow, wow, that is so interesting. So a few priceless. months back, my uncle's car was stolen from in front of our house, and we could not figure out for the life of us how it happened. And so we knew, like, well, maybe he lost his key outside. We couldn't find the key and all of this stuff, right? And we still don't know how the car was stolen, but now I think we know. Because in certain communities, they are scanning. We've lost several packages. I mean, just a whole bunch of stuff is missing because it's a target area, right? They think people over there got a couple of dollars. They don't realize we eating hot dogs and beans. But anyway, that's another story. How inexpensive is it for someone to buy one of those scanners? Um, from a hundred dollars to the real expensive one to five, six hundred dollars for the real advanced one. Wow, a hundred dollars. That's, I mean, that's wow. not a lot when you not at as all. much as they're getting from, from the car. Yeah. Right. yeah. The um, another thing that people do during the winter time, especially, is leave their vehicles running. Mm-hmm. So what you've done is you've given a gift to whoever decides that they want to jump in your car and mm. drive away. So what about the auto start? Because I have auto start. I start my car. My doors are locked. Mm-hmm. Can they still take my? It's my difficult, phone? but it's been it's been shown that it can be done as well. Okay. So just don't do it. Um, in addition to so having save my three hundred dollars. Save it. So save your three hundred for you. Right. Yeah. Don't do that. Um, buy also, some thicker socks. It's gonna be cold getting that call. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, to go. It's also a five hundred dollar ticket. Oh yeah. I mean, what I is using an auto star? No, leaving your car running with the keys in. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So imagine a worst case scenario. You leave your keys in your vehicle and say, God forbid, your uncle, your aunt, your niece, your nephew has to be rushed to the hospital. Uh, whoever decides to jump in your car steals your car. And on the way to that joyride, they crash into the ambulance and stop your loved one from being taken to the hospital. Something as small as that, you just not start your car, can prevent a lot of things. Wow. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So, $500 because I want to be warm. That's really what it is comes down to right <laughs> so is there a way of working around that what do you recommend getting a key that getting a car that starts without the key like i recommend people... just don't have your car running in the winter time it takes a few minutes once you start driving your car warms up anyway okay. most days most now me people a lot of people have heated seats right mm-hmm. um if not you can get a little heating pad to put in there you know you could do something small like that but just don't just start, don't do it just don't just don't do it. Like they say about the drugs. Just, just say no. Know. Just right. Say no. Just say no. Just, just say don't no. Do it. Okay. I think a lot to of times your people, car. and you guys can tell me what you think. I think a lot of times people are we're just defiant. Mm-hmm. We're just hard headed. Most like, times. People like, are listen, defiant. it be cold, and I, I want my car to be blasted when I get in. Mm-hmm. I want my heat in uh, initially like this <laughs> when I get in. Is there anything you can do about defiance and hard heads? It, it, it does what? A hard head makes what? Five hundred dollars. <laughs> All right. All right. What's the next tip? Soft fines, but right. Soft fines and five hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. Another That's tip fine. is Everybody always, knows. always, always remember that the elderly, because at some point we all become elderly or right. senior, right? So always check on the elderly. Always make sure that they have their gas electric on, that their that their fronts are shoveled, um, that their trash is taken out. It's small things like that that they won't hurt themselves mm-hmm. trying to do something that you always can help them do. So everybody mm-hmm. should have a grandma on the block mm-hmm. that they take care of. Awesome. Okay. And that also says that they're not vulnerable for and you're helping, being broken and you're into. you're helping and you're learning because when you are at work, then in turn, they'll look out for you. Right. Ooh. Yes, they do. Thank yes, you. they do. Because uh-huh. I didn't get a ticket the other morning when Thank I didn't you. move my car. Um, like, nearly one third of uh, Americans are victims victims to package thieves. We call them um, package pirates. Mm. Package oh, pirates. Um, mm. As your caller talked about, about your packages. Um, we also we also rec- always recommend you use a smart package locker, so whether it's Amazon, I don't think Amazon is taking over everything now, right? UPS, uh-huh. the post uh-huh. office, uh-huh. Um, have packages delivered to your workplace, office, or business if you can, um, or an elderly person that hey they're going to be home that they can get the package for you. Um, get an Amazon key for your package delivery. A required signature for your package deliveries. Um, most people now you can track your packages so you can reroute it uh, or schedule it to go somewhere else once mm-hmm. it's delivered. Um, install a st- smart doorbell and work with your neighbors and look out for one another. So I'm gonna in- throw in there that Amazon is hiring. <clears throat> for those of you guys who are looking for uh, additional work, mm-hmm. 
don't like Groupon, not Groupon, Grubhub, don't like DoorDash, Amazon is hiring. You download the app, it's called Flex, F as in Frank, L-E-X, Amazon Flex, and it's coming right to Baltimore. People are averaging about $23 an hour delivering with Amazon no, Flex. Okay. So, and it's also flexible to your time as you can, uh, you know, deliver, and mm -hmm. it's some extra money, and you're your own contractor, so you work for them. Let me get my back brace. Yeah. Start delivering some Thank packages. you for that. Okay, so now we talk about after Christmas has come or whatever holiday right. you celebrate, and you have your you have your packages. Uh -huh. um, some of the one of the main things that you can do is engrave your uh, electronics uh, with your driver's license number and your initials. So if some if your house was to be burglarized, you take it to the pawn shop. They have to present that. Mm -hmm. um, the pawn shop is supposed to request an ID. Mm -hmm. um, if your driver's license in, is engraved on your electronics, wow. um, and they can't bring that, then it's up to them to alert us that we have packages or items that attempt to be pawned. At least they have a photo, video of the person bringing it in. Oh, wow. So I'm going to interject again. So years ago at Bowie, I was voted as the first, my real first election. Uh, one day I'm going to win now. Anyway, my petty. And so, um, I didn't laugh at my petty. Oh, I'm sorry. I was smiling. Yeah. <laughs> so my very first election, I was voted in the president of our resident hall. Hmm. And the first issue that we decided to, me and my little team, we decided to address were the room burglaries that were happening, right? And so there were some people who had to move out on the holiday times. There were other people who didn't or people who went home for the weekend and there were room burglaries. And so what I did was I reached out to the Bowie uh, Fire Department and Bowie Police Department and they came on, with, on campus with their little engraving gun and they engraved into each of the um, students' personal things, lamps, oh, wow. microwaves, things that they could engrave on. But... What do you think the girls complained about? I'm not a girl, I can't tell you. You got a daughter. What do you think the girls complained about? The engraving. The engraving was not pretty. Oh, oh my God. God. The cosmetic. It was like, oh my God, this is so ugly now on this lamp. Or this is, but it was, con I mean, 40, 50 <laughs> people. We did the whole resident hall, and I think our dorm maybe have had 300 people or more, right? Wow. So 50 people now complaining that the engraving is ugly. And so. Mm -hmm. Is there a company that maybe specializes in engra engraving? Is that something that the police or the fire department still will do at no cost? Like, what does that look like? So, an engraver is an engraver. Mm -hmm. um, I have yet to see one that's pretty. Okay, but well, that's good to know. Um, if you weren't about it pretty, doesn't or, come it doesn't come, right. It's, right. It's, it's, right. If you have fancy handwriting, then I guess you can make it as pretty as you want. Okay. Right? Because it's an engraver. Okay, but it's not about cosmetic. It's right. about safety it's about and safety maintaining and security. your security of your items. Okay. Um, after you purchase your uh, big gifts for your kids, most people want to just put it out this, the next day. Mm -hmm. Save it until it's time to recycle the trash that come up because right. you've now alerted potential burglars of what you have everything you bought for Christmas. Oh, you mean like the boxes? Like the boxes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you should always break them down anyway. Okay. Okay. That um, if okay. you're traveling, get up, your lights on an automatic timer. Um, mm -hmm. And please, 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 I know we have a lot of um, social media stars. Yes. Um, when you travel, <laughs> stop telling people when you go. You can take plenty mm -hmm. of pictures. Show up when you get back. Thanks. Because oh, even mm -hmm. the people that you think may be your friends mm -hmm. may be the one that come and be your friend. Y'all know they're gone. Right. Y'all know they're gone. They're gone. They're they gone. <laughs> yeah, I actually posted that. Thank you. I think you shared my post a couple of weeks ago. I saw one of my good friends said, Getting ready to go. We're leaving. Flight at 4.15. Oh, my goodness. Leaving from BWI. We'll be back on Sunday. And I literally wanted to just go and kick in our door just to say, <laughs> see, I told you, but I can't as the candidate. Um, during the holidays, people um, have these scams. BGE, right. the water department, they go around knocking on doors. And now the census. Um, to mm. say, we want to come in and check whatever. Mm. Um, be asking for legitimate ID. And if you just, your gut will pretty much lead you the way. Um, tell you call the police call it's a suspicious person in the neighborhood mm -hmm. also ring has a network of uh, video that you can see neighborhood videos oh, wow. um, to let you know if you share it people will know uh, the guy in the blue shirt with the red hat is doing trying to just knock on through he has no uh, legitimate business to be in the neighborhood share it with 911 and we have if, if, if it's at night keep your porch lights on so we can see that video so we can not positively identify that person. That's that was true. Ring. So like Ring the alarm system? Ring the alarm system. R-I-N-G, the mm -hmm. alarm system. Awesome. I'm not promoting Ring, but it's just one of the better ones that um, provide a lot of video. Right. Um, also, the police department, they have a, a, a security system um, program 
where you can send your information into the police department that we have a um, security system with video. Oh, okay. um, and if you go to baltimorepolice.org, you can just log it on the community section. It'll show you where you can send an information in. The police department does not view your video. Um, only if you give them permission to download it once a crime occurs in okay. your particular neighborhood. They don't have access to any of that. So it's not like if I give them, I let them know they're going to be looking at no. Okay. No, nothing like that at all. That's good to know. This is like a whole bunch of tips. Yeah, a whole, a whole bunch good. of tips. Um, for people who have businesses, um, there are a lot of robberies and burglaries, mm. uh, robberies and larcenies, which is like shoplifting right. all of the time. And a lot of that occurs because many stores have signage on the front. Mm-hmm. That, du- that that prevents the public and the police from actually seeing uh, inside your store. Oh, yeah. So limit what you put. Actually, it's a fine as well if you put too much of your... Um, in a window. In a window that's blocked so people can't see. Mm. I've seen some stores like that. So they have like the cigarette sign and the lottery sign. And you and can't the, see. And you can't see. So to all my merchant friends out there, you guys need to pull some of those signs down. Keep up your Tory Rose signs. <laughs> <laughs> but make sure that we can see in and you can see, see out in mm-hmm. case you're trying to get somebody's attention for an emergency. And for teachers who have the paper up at your doors. Yeah, yeah. I hate it. I actually removed somebody today. So my coworker, I'm sorry, it was just tacky. Tomorrow you'll see it. I was like, you're not supposed to um, put block the, the screen. Yeah, like, they put the paper up in front of the for privacy. window for privacy. But, you know, Nobody is even looking in your class. But anyway, I digress. Right. I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, and sure <laughs> I agree. Nobody's looking at your writing in class. <laughs> Ensure that you have working cameras in your store and that mm. they're on the right date and time. Mm. Um, and that not only you, but your employees or an employee has access to review uh, the cameras in your store. Pause there. Can a merchant be uh, fined for not having working uh, camera equipment? Oh, okay. I mean, for the safety of his store and his employees and himself or herself, it's a good idea to mm-hmm. have. I mean, it also helps with employee theft right um so it's two ways i mean it can help you a, mo- a myriad of ways if you have those cameras right. oh that was SAT that's where's carly carly <laughs> he's she not said, single right. she can't date a police. oh she said that he's not single but he's smart girl you're <laughs> gonna have some new friend requests coming in <laughs> officer um as a business owner you should always greet everyone anyway right. mm-hmm. but, but in doing that you can recognize what the person has on mm-hmm. um their, their facial expression are they looking around are they nervous um, that it's like a regular shopper. I'm not saying stalk them around the store, but if you have enough employees <laughs> in your store, you can pretty much see if you spread your employees out. Right. Don't have your employees congregating. Have them spread out amongst the stores. Unless it's the lady that was in the CVS on Pennsylvania Avenue the other day. Yeah, the man. security office said, how you doing, man? I ain't stealing nothing. You, she just started. <laughs> she and she went, walked out like this. She had a bag, a bag. <laughs> and like, you ain't going through my... I was like, what happened? I just came to get my prescription. And she just walked in the store. Wow. Don't follow me. Don't be talking to me. He said, man, I just said, hello. Hey, you follow Baby, like, PTSD is real. Is real. I was like, Mental or like the one store. We went in the store. I'm not going to call it out. In Mondawmin. I'm not going to say which store. And um, we walked in. And there was no customers in sight. But there were also no store workers in sight. And it was some very valuable things laid out and available, right? And so we were like, hello. Probably a good minute, minute and a half before anyone even peeked around to see. And I said to Kiana, oh, he's trying to get his store robbed. That was my assumption yeah. because if you are so afraid of your environment and mm. you have thousands of dollars worth of merchandise, he was in the back playing tic-tac-toe. So, guys, mm. don't do that. If you have a store, be vigilant and make sure that you are looking at people and giving um, eye contact. Eye contact. Yeah. Um, and it's just polite. Yeah, it Facts. is polite. Um, have keywords, um, panic words that you, you mm. and your stories and your employees understand. But mm. those words mean so that not only works for businesses but at home as well. Um, if right. you're pulling up, you're talking to somebody on the cell phone, it's your it's your lookout partner at home, so you don't the person doesn't know that it's a you being they're robbing you. Uh-huh. You can say that whatever keyword you and your phone buddy decided it is, so they'll know. Mm. Um, you should develop the, put stuff on your phone, right? That you can know those nine one one should you know, be the first auto dial. It shouldn't be mama or daddy or hubby or boo oh. or bay. It should be 911. Right. Um, you have um, apps on your phone that um, it can alert people in your phone book mm. specifically where you are and it tracks your phone. So do people still do ICE? Remember we would do ICE, ICE, in case of emergency? Do people That's still on your do phone. That? That's on your phone. That's okay. on your phone. 
And so th- it used to be like mom, ice, Kiana, ice. So that if I passed out or whatever, the person who's were they the person will go in and type ice, and anybody that came up with ice would be the people they could call. That's one of the apps on your phone. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, if it's Android, which is a way why you look at me when you said it. <laughs> Yeah, I got this weird sick Android thing going on. Um, so Kiana, going back to the point, we our family has had you know some several very tragic losses, um, and so we have a word, and then Joshua and I have a different word. My mother, my sisters, and I have a word. I Kiana can't you. remember her word. I can't remember. Kiana, <laughs> Tiffany, <laughs> Tiffany. It's like you can shout like, the Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany. So what, how do you, <laughs> how do you work with someone who constantly forgets the word? Should your family have one centralized word or like we use different words to each, you know, my son and I have a different word. My mom and sisters, we all have the same word. And then me, you and Renee, I suppose they have the same word, but she can never remember hers. So what do we do? Do we tape it to our forehead? Can we put it on the back of our phone? I think you just get some life insurance. Get some life insurance. I've been taken. <laughs> they coming. That's funny. Oh, Lord Yeah, it'll be something I can remember. It yeah, is. It is. And when I say it, she'd be like, oh, yeah, that's right. Every time. The girl that didn't auction me off the rush. Yeah. Can't find, can't find it now. And once you're taken, we don't, we can't find you either. Y'all better come find me. Remember, I posted that. Right. I am not suicidal. I am not running away. I'm not leaving my kid. If I do not show up, y'all better come find me. You better use whatever resources, big brother, big sister, little brother, little sister. Y'all better find me. Well, if I decide to run away, I will send you a picture from the sand that I'm. And when born. you come back in three days, can you let us know what happened? Right. Thanks. <laughs> When we uncover yeah. the text messages and see she had pizza bowls. Like, girl, what? Okay, so. The last thing I have is, is the RFID, which I talked about that earlier. So people um, have these gadgets. It's like a card reader. So you know how you can go to the store and scan your credit oh, card yeah, right. over mm-hmm. the machine in the store. You don't have to really take it out. The same thing. People have those same machines, but in little small cases. Um, um, so they have blockers. They have cute ones. Just since women worry about being something being cute. We do. You can put your credit cards because all your information is stored in your credit cards. So they can just, you know, as close as I am to Tori, touch it, and that's it. They have all of your information. Wow. Um, a friend of mine called me today about that. Somebody sent her something. I told her what she should use. And it's, it's, the, it's the same principle as this, um, except in a small case. You can get them on Amazon. RFID blockers. RFID blockers. blockers. Amazon from $10 to $1,000. So you touch me. Can you give me all my information back? Sure. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was only like $3 Amazon anyway. Up. Why you and him have Amazon? Up, right. um, they have book bags. They have purses. They Where have wallets. They have cases um, that you can put all your credit awesome. cards in. Okay. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That, uh, identity theft. But that's basically what happened. I like this one. Okay, so we've learned about identity theft throughout the holiday. We've learned about keeping our cars safe, keeping our family safe, not letting everybody on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat know when we're going away. Right. Package theft. Package theft, which are called package pirates. pirates. Community safety. Community safety. What about our pedos? How do we keep our kids, uh, not those kids, the little furry kids safe? <laughs> Is that the wrong topic? We come I, back to I don't that have one. A pedo, so I okay. don't know. A pedo. People love their pedos. They, they love do. their kiddos. They love their kiddos. But they pedos. love their pedos. Their pedos more so than anything else. So we have to maybe bring somebody you want to talk about pets. Pets. SPCA would be a good start. Mm. Uh, Falls Road. Oh, yeah, which I gave English? my dog to them. She, she gave him away. See, she can't remember the word, and then she gave her dog away. Well, I had to, you had to give her away. These kikis ain't loyal. <laughs> <laughs> no, Queen. We had a Rottweiler. I, I liked Queen for a while, but she started. Um, oh, yeah, you had to give her away. Oh, child. Yeah, she was something else, and she didn't like me. She didn't like women. She was very she hyper. Not, she was, a, she was queen, like, named her Queen, and she really men. Be, thought she was the Queen of the house. Mm-hmm. When men came over, she would get excited and like, pee all over the floor. Mm-hmm. And then, um, like a couple of days, she made me like for work. She wouldn't come in, and like the one day, I was like, "All right, you gotta come in. It's time to come in. I'm leaving." She went around me. I said, "Oh, she gotta go." Uh huh. Yeah. So. So we'll bring somebody in to talk about the pedos. Did we miss anything? Oh, we. You have other things to talk about. In the community, you've been keeping us safe. You guys have been walking. The men. Oh, the men's walk. The men. So, the men. So it's several, uh, <laughs> several uh, organizations. Carly, you cannot go on the walk. 
No. Carly, you cannot go on a walk. It's, Carly, it, listen, it's the folks, men's walk. It's the walk. men's walk, right? <laughs> um, several organizers, um, Andrew Muhammad, Antoine right. Burton, Dr. Um, Andre Bunley. Awesome. All um, several Thank bishops, um, the Nation of Islam, has have basically um, collaborated with uh, the faith, the, the, the Christian community mm -hmm. um, to show that men need to collaborate. Uh, there's no lines. Um, we all won. Huh? Um, we're trying to hit every part of the city. Okay. Um, it's on Mondays from 6 to 8 and Saturdays from 12 to 2. Um, we've done um, the northeast, northern part of the city, the western part of the city, the central part of the city. Uh, we've had Greenmount Avenue, North, North Avenue. Um, and next we're going to gauge how our walks have affected those communities prior to and after the walks. Okay. Uh, we don't just walk just to walk. It's a movement. Um, we give our job resources. We give our mental health resources. We even have people who walk with us who, if you want to have detox that day, they will get you into a detox system. Oh, wow. That's so good. Um, um, we're doing a lot of things to try to just get... We, the goal is to have 10,000 men mm -hmm. um, to walk together in Baltimore. Wow. Um, I know it was the 300 men march, but that was the building block. I, you know, um, Marlo Hargrove and I have talked about that mm -hmm. a little bit on Facebook about that. It began a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, but the goal is to get, is to get 10,000 men. And maybe next month in January, um, hopefully the Martin Luther King Parade, we can all come out together to show the unity and solidarity um, amongst men. Um, no race, no religion, wow, no so ethnic. So good. No, it, it, on any level you want to show up, um, you can show up. Saturday should be 12 to 2 at 4321 Old York Road. 4321 Old York Road. 4321 Old York Road. That's a church? church? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... Um, CRL... Uh, uh, that's my mom's church, I believe. It's on Old York and 43rd. Oh, yeah, I think it's yeah. my mom's church. CR, CRL Ministries, mm -hmm. I believe. Uh -huh. um, and we walk. And we walk and we talk. Um, we show the brothers love. Um, the sisters that walk through, we make us make a hole for them. We let them walk through. And kids, the young men have walked. It's about Prince Joshua. It's about saving them and saving the city and reducing some of the violence and letting them know that together we can do this. Um, so let me just bring a point of clarity. He means pedestrians who are walking through, not walking with, right? Not walking with. Right, so pedestrians walking through, the women get to feel like queens, like mm -hmm. the men made a way for them, not like you got to bump through. But I think you guys are doing something very awesome. And so I just wanted to make sure I pointed the clarity to that. He's saying when people come through, we acknowledge them as kings and queens, right? And That's women great. have stopped and, you know, just the, the, the main thing they talk about is they feel safe when we walk through. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, the children have talked about they feel safe, they feel empowered by just being with a bunch of positive black men. It's men out there um, that people talk about services all the time, uh -huh. but they don't go to those services. You got to take the services to them. Yeah. That's, That's true. And fail to do so, we're just going to leave them out there and you sitting there wondering where they are. They're all there waiting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it, it's just about that movement. Um, Walking so is therapeutic as well. You agree? I agree. You agree? Good. I do. I agree. Okay. You know, at some point, um, I believe they're going to um, collaborate with some women so the women can do their walks as well. Um, it's coming. Um, I can't tell you when I have to get with all the organizers to find out what's coming, but okay. the sisters need to love too. Um, and to see that women can get along without a specific agenda. Right. Um, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. <laughs> And one of the models that we talk about is a useless that. movement is a useless movement. Mm. Um, so it's about the youth. We got to save them. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of the men that participate in the walk um, have perpetuated the violence and the blight and plight of Baltimore City. So they, they're trying to give back um, to make amends however right. they can to fix the ills that they caused. Yeah. That's so awesome. So if there's men who are listening and they want to get connected to the movement, how do they, what do they go to? Where do they go? So you can look up um, Andrew Muhammad. Okay. Spelled um, the traditional way. Spelled the traditional way. Um, you can look me up on Facebook, Jeffrey Shorter, S H O R T E R. Spelled the traditional way. Spelled the traditional way. Oh, it's R E Y, not E R Y. Oh, okay. Um, there's mm -hmm. different ways to spell it, but um, uh, Maurice Blanding. Hey, Tony. I think I'll get you to uh, that. And Antoine Burton. Uh, just yeah. several people that you can hey, plug brother. into on Facebook uh, to get information. Okay. Um, awesome. It's that great. Awesome. It is I'm, awesome. I'm excited about it um i love hearing about the walk so maurice and i have been we're childhood friends mm -hmm. and so um it i mean it i know i haven't you know kind of like been out there or seen it but just hearing about it 
it encourages me, it empowers me. I'm glad to see that something very positive is going on in our community because it is most certainly needed, and I encourage um, all the men throughout the city to get involved. Some of them have broken, you talked about therapeutic, some of them cried just mm-hmm. to see the love that's shared. You know, some men have never been hugged by a man. I was right. going to say that. Yeah. Wow. And so, not to uh, be petty, because this is not a shot at anyone, but, you know, we know a lot of people in the city, right? Mm-hmm. And so sometimes... Some of these people are our brothers, right? It's like our brothers from over east side, our brothers from over west side. You may know that your brother from over west side never had a father. Right. You may know that they don't deal well personally with authority, mm-hmm. right? But they could also be in leadership positions themselves. And so to see them submit to the authority of the movement has been like so good. And then all you can say is like, wow, this yeah. person now has an opportunity to not only have father figures, but to have brother figures. You know what I mean? And to be able to kind of heal through their own trauma. So I think that's really dope. It was something else you said that made my little brain. Kiana's like, we're very excited. We are excited. <laughs> we're just tired. No, we, I am. Um, oh, oh yeah. women. For the women who want to move, who want to walk, there is an awesome and amazing movement that's about to really kick off because we're at 100 years for the women's suffrage. Mm. So women's suffrage is um, 1920. Right. And I know I'm a history person and I'm going to lose like six viewers. But <laughs> look, somebody just dropped off. And so women's <laughs> suffrage, that march, that movement, that parade, that coming together, that's going to happen in 2020, right? And so what I don't want the women to feel like is that they're being overshadowed by what the men are doing or that there's some competition to be, if they are on the front line and we have to be in the front line, the reality of it is there is enough work for all of us to do. It is. There's enough net napkins for all of us to pick up there's some uh things that are happening inside our city schools county schools country schools Mm -hmm. that your voice is needed and so if you're a woman or a man who can't get out and go to the walk and can't participate get in another place of service and serve someone yes and like you said serve our youth and we have used that thing as well i probably got it from you a useless movement is a, is a useless, useless movement. movement. Right. We had teen talk Saturday about three weeks ago where we had teens come out and just talk about what they saw. And they got to talk about the blight and how ugly the houses were and things were falling apart and what it made them feel. Right. So, asking you one last question. Um, what's the age range of young boys that can come walk with you? As long as they can be carried to walk on their own, they can show up. Uh, okay. We've had four or five year olds come with their fathers. Okay. Um, we had a, a 97 year old man walk us up, walk with us over East Baltimore. Wow. That was led by Uncle T. So, um, wow. and he hey, did, Uncle T. Yeah, oh, hey, Uncle T. Yeah. And we did the whole walk. Um, Wonderful. Wow. I got one last thing I'd like to talk about. Two last things. I'll make it real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, people talk about, I want to share information, but I don't want to be known. So Baltimore Police Department has uh, an anonymous tip line. Mm. It's a, you can text your tips Pictures, videos, Facebook Live links, Periscope, Snapchat, or whatever Snapchat or whatever you two decide to do, to four four three nine zero two four eight two four. That's four four three nine zero two four eight two four. That's my birthday. Also, we'll drop that number in there. Mm-hmm. And Friday the thirteenth, um, it's not a bad day. People think it is. <laughs> um, we're having a job resource fair mm-hmm. at fifty three twenty five York Road. From 11 to 4, we'll have BGE for uh, energy assistance. We'll have mental health specialists there if you need some mental health um, work. Right. And we have employment issues as well, employment resources as well, um, oh, awesome. expungement uh, services as well. So mm-hmm. just show up, 11 to 4, um, bring your resumes. Um, the Mayor's Office Employment Development will be there as well. Oh, awesome. So I've been eating raisins all week. Why have I been eating raisins all week? You need to go and to the kale bathroom. salad. And kale salad. No, because I don't need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> what? <laughs> People just say that. He told us we sound, he said we look constipated. Because we're getting prepared for something with you guys tomorrow. What is it? Oh, the blood drive. The blood drive. I have not been able to get blood in years because I was severely anemic. Mm. So I think I'm ready. I feel good. I want to do my due diligence. And it's going to flow to the bottom. No, I hope not. And saying. so I've been eating <laughs> irons. Filled fruits, vegetables for like the whole week. You think it's gonna work? I guess we'll see tomorrow. So tell us about the blood drive. Where is it? What time and all that good stuff? If um, you it's it. from eleven to five, 
Mm -hmm. at the Northern District Police Station as a cold spring of 83. Yep. Um, Come get blood. Come get blood. Sign up. If you have not signed up, you can go to the Northern Police District's website or their Facebook page. And there is a... Baltimore Police uh, dash or tag. Um, Northern District. Northern District. And they District. have the information on that page. Make sure you sign up. Because the Red Cross gets busy and they want to be able to give everybody the good customer service. So I signed up. I won't tell you what time because I don't want y'all coming bothering me while I'm getting my blood drawn. This is, I'm giving blood. I'm giving thing. blood. This is the universal sign for <laughs> take my blood. Unless you're from Baltimore, then it means something else. So I'm going to put my arm down. You never know No shade. You know right. No shade. Right. And so, it's so funny. Um... We had an evacuation drill today at my school, and I was so excited about my students. And, you know, I get them all pumped up about the smallest little things. And they were like, Miss Rose, why are you so excited? It's just an evacuation. I said, because one day it might not be a drill. One day you might really have to get out here. And come on, guys, get out. And so my class not only was out quicker and more organized than any other class, they got out, they lined up, they counted down. It was like militant. It was beautiful. And then That's how small we were in high school. That's how I suppose that is. I know that's not how it is. Why? And then two of them away. said to me, "Can we? This felt so good. Can we go with you tomorrow to give blood?" Oh, I was like, "No, that's kind of creepy. I, I got my own life outside of y'all." But the point is, when they see you serving and they see you in order, mm-hmm. they get excited about it. So, do you know? And you may not know. We can find out if none of us know. What is the age for giving blood? Do you know? I have no idea. Me neither. Oh, I never thought about that. Yeah. It's probably 18. Just probably 18 because it's not your blood. Consent. until you, and don't you have to sign something? You got to sign something. Yeah, probably. So probably 18. And you can't have a cold for the for the uh, two or three days prior to. Um, That's a lot of little stipulations that they have yeah. before you give I have blood. I literally have not been able to give blood since senior year of high school. She's anemic. Mm-hmm. You eat raisins? Well, I got a cold or, or whatever. Do whatever. Something. you eat raisins? You better get your raisins out. All right, guys, listen. It has been an amazing day. Do you have anything else to say, Shay? Thank you for having me. You have well, been amazing. Yes. Thank you so yes. much, community yes. partnership. Yes. You bring me some. Give me some. And Damn. what's that? Is that a um? What is that ring on your finger? This ring? Yeah. Oh, it's something I was born with. It's a Masonic ring, my Mason. He <laughs> said something he was born it's with. It's fraternity. I was like, you were born with race. the ring? Born okay. with the ring. You got women trying to pick you up on the m <laughs> He was born with the flavor. Hey, Davis. All right, y'all. So listen, it has been awesome in this um, studio tonight with the amazing and awesome Jeff Shorter. It has been our privilege to be able to serve right alongside you in yeah. the community. Um, we look forward to just many more opportunities of networking and sharing. I look forward to giving blood tomorrow at the Northern Police District. Get your appointments on. Also, I look forward to having a healthy and happy and safe Christmas season. Did you miss anything, Miss Kanana? Um, Kanana. Yeah. So when you're her cousin, you can call her Kanana. I call you that because Harlem calls you that. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's it. I just, um, I really, I just want to applaud you for all the great work that you do. Check yourself awesome. because you both do the same. Oh, thank, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't get to carry a gun though. They don't trust me with the gun. I understand. Right. Oh, question. Can you take me to the gun range? Sure. Yes. That's what I want. Oh, Five months later, <laughs> uh, she's still waiting to go. He said, I said, no. sure. I ain't saying this year. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's very therapeutic. I've shot mm. and I've yeah, mm. been there, done that. I, they, they don't trust me with a gun. And yeah. I understand. Campaigning and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Joshua, do you have another something to say? Yes. Is it a joke? It's, it's, it's more of a nope, we only have time for another riddle. Okay, Guys, have you have a joke? All right, come on over. We've got 30 seconds. Hurry up. Come on over. Say it fast and say it big. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? Nana. Nana who? Nana your business. Ha! Ah. <laughs> and on that note, guys, it's been an amazing Tuesday at the Connected Corner where we got news and resources you can actually use. Please be sure to follow us at BIF Connected Group yes. on Instagram and bcg.manage um, on Instagram as well. Mm-hmm. I can be found at Tori Rose, elect underscore Tori underscore Rose or Tori Rose the Connector. I can and... be found at... Josh underscore Sag 11. And you can find me at Kiana B. Jones on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And where can we find you? Anywhere in Baltimore. <laughs> Anywhere in Baltimore. <laughs> this is the Connect the Corner. See you guys next Tuesday. Same time, same place. We love you. Thank you Peace. for tuning in. Good night. Good night.
listening to Radio on Fire, the voice of urban America. Streaming worldwide at RadioOnFire.com slash live. On Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Radio on Fire for DJ Diamond K. It's the Radio on Fire News Network. Now, let's get back to the show. <laughs> 